uh, Milimani Law Courts where we expect the suspects to be arraigned this morning. And uh, Leila Mohamed is there for us. Leila, any activity at uh, Milimani this morning? Well, just a few minutes ago, there was a battery of journalists outside and they were all waiting uh, to enter into the common hall where most of the corruption cases are heard here at the Melimani Law Courts. Uh, that crowd has just walked in, which means the ball has already been set rolling for the, uh, the courts to begin their session today. The 24-hour rule uh, still stands, Edmund. Uh, the fact that he was arrested uh, 24 hours ago means he has to be brought into court today Day, whether he will take plea or not that will depend on if the prosecution is ready uh, as we have seen in other cases before the prosecution has come out and say they need more time to complete their investigations but according to the DPP yesterday they have sufficient evidence to charge the PS at the C other individuals in connection with what they term as 63 billion shillings of unaccounted for money belonging to me and you Edmond and uh, this will be happening very soon in the next few minutes as uh, we prepare uh, to go into the hall and hear how the proceedings will be it could be just a mention it could be him taking plea or it, we could see lawyers from both sides of the divide presenting uh, their cases. So it could go either way, Edmund. But as it's now, he it was in the building as early as 8 in the morning, having uh, spent the night at Muthaiga police station. Him, as well as other individuals who were arrested alongside with him, were scattered across uh, various police stations. They will be presented in court this morning, and maybe they could answer charges of uh, uh, corruption allegations uh, allegations in connection to the dam scandal, which now, according to the DPP, is no longer 21 billion Kenya shillings, but uh, 63, which is unaccounted for, Edmund.